How on earth did he get so far? That's what America is asking today after a pilot buzzed Washington, D.C. in a one-man gyrocopter before coming down to a soft landing on the lawn of the Capitol building. This is not good, people. It was an utter security failure and sources say a wake-up call. Even more troubling, the knucklehead on board had told a newspaper reporter in advance about his stunt. And I'm going to land on the Capitol Mall. 61-year-old Doug Hughes, a mailman for the U.S. Postal Service, told the Tampa Bay Times his crazy stunt was intended to bring attention to campaign finance reform. I'm not suicidal, and I'm not going to commit suicide, and I'm not going to fly into any monuments. Hughes took off from Gettysburg, PA, and incredibly went undetected through a no-fly zone, bristling with anti-aircraft missiles, the so-called P-56 zone. He flew past the White House, past the Washington Monument, along the National Mall. This video shows Hughes flying past the White House. Look how close he is to some of America's most precious landmarks. Here's another view as he comes in for a landing. He's just a few feet off the ground. What just happened? One tourist caught the dramatic moment as his stunt reached its climax. This is not good, people. No, he's not. Law enforcement raced to the site the moment the aircraft landed. Hughes was taken into custody as the bomb squad checked out the gyrocopter. In the James Bond movie, You Only Live Twice, Sean Connery flies a gyrocopter that's heavily armed. Hughes was actually interviewed by the Secret Service a year ago after getting a tip, reportedly from a family member, that he was planning to do something crazy. The reporter from the Tampa Bay Times newspaper is now coming under fire because Hughes told him in advance what he was planning. Did you feel any responsibility to tell the authorities this was coming? Look, he said he was going to do this uh, whether we were there or not. The authorities knew.